This is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'm going to be explaining to you why you need to be using PSD mockups and not simply showing your clients flat work like this here. We have created this nice book cover, but sometimes it's hard for our clients to imagine it being on a book. So what we do instead is create what is called a mockup. Wouldn't you rather show your client this image than the simple flat one? Here, they don't have to use their imagination. They can simply see it as it will be in real life on a book. So how do you do this? This is what we consider a mock-up. This is something that you make in Photoshop. Don't worry, you don't have to make it yourself. This is basically a template. Somebody else makes a three-dimensional image and then you drop and drag your images into it, which is then displayed on the 3D model. If you have Photoshop, you can do this easily, and I'm gonna show you how. Number one, how do you find a mock-up? Of course, you can always go to Google and simply search for mock-ups. Let's give it a try. Let's search for PSD mock-ups. When you search for PSD mock-ups, please be very careful. There are lots of sites full of bloatware and viruses that will try to uh, install malware on your machine uh, with a bribe of PSDs for free. Let's look at this one, for example. A lot of websites um, are going to be full of ads. Yep. <laughs> and lots of bloatware. For example, uh, this is a mock-up for a pump bottle. If I click on it here, it's going to probably redirect me to another website and redirect me to another place. And then at the end, they're probably going to want me to pay for it. So just be careful. Um, as you can see, there's about a million download buttons over here <laughs> trying to get you to uh, play Russian roulette with the download button. Which one's the right one? Here's a couple of safe places I go to get my mockups. Now, specifically for book covers, you can't beat Cover Vault. So Cover Vault is a website run by this guy, Mark. He's really cool. Uh, a lot of his book mockups are completely free. You can leave him donations, and you can also purchase his big book mockup bundle, which we use here at Becky's Graphic Design. He's got all sorts of cover sizes here on the sidebar. Let's go with the 6x9. I'm going to click on this little link here. And then it's going to take us to a list of free 6x9 book covers. Let's grab this one. I'm going to click on download and scroll down to this little blue link here. I'm going to download the Photoshop PSD. While that's downloading, I'm going to show you guys over here. This is another place that we use at Becky's Graphic Design. This is called FreePick. Um, and they have all sorts of stuff in this website. They have stock images, they have vector icons, um, but they also have really, really good PSD mockups. This is one of my favorite places to come for mockups. You can see they have all sorts of stuff here. Billboards, purses, sweaters, tags, anything you can think of, really. Um, and most of these mockups are pretty dynamic. You can pretty heavily edit them. Okay. It looks like our download is done. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. When we look inside of the zip folder, um, here is a section for Mac stuff. And then he gives you a couple of previews of the file in a JPEG. But here is what we want. We want this PSD file. You can see the extension on the end here is for Photoshop PSD. We don't want to work on this inside of the zip folder. Um, that can cause some problems. So I'm going to cut this out of here and move it to a different location. And let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, when we open up our PSD mockup, here we are with these templated book covers on here. If you look at your layers on the side over here, make sure I get my head out of the way. You can see that there is a drop down for the front book cover and a drop down for the back book cover. Let's have a look at the front book cover. We can see here that um, Mark has put a highlight 
and a mask and a couple of other things on this book to make it look three-dimensional and to make it look real. What we're interested in is this. I'm going to click on this particular layer. You see that this layer has a link in it and it also has a mask layer. We're not worried about this mask. We're simply worried about this here. This is a smart object which is containing this front cover image. I'm going to right click on this layer, not on the mask part, just on the words. And I'm going to go up to edit contents. This is what you need here, edit contents. I'm going to click on that. Now it's going to open up a separate file which was contained in the PSD. This file, if we look up here, is called frontcover.psb and it is a very common thing to see in mockups. These are the embedded files that contain the images that are then linked to the 3D model later. I already have a book cover ready to go so I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. I'm going to go to file, place embedded, and I'm going to drop my cover into here. You may have to do a little bit of adjustment on this sort of thing, um, but you won't really notice in the long run. Okay, now I'm going to save this PSB. And when we return, now my cover is on this book. Same thing for the back cover. I would come over here, drop this down, and then right click on the back cover and edit the contents. You can add extra layers on these PSBs. I'm going to add a layer here. I'm going to draw some pink squiggles on the back of this book. There we go. That looks wonderful. And we can see <laughs> now that's on our 3D model. Now these changes only go into effect when you save them. So I can hide this layer here, take a peek at my file, and the pink squiggles are still there. But if I come back and save, now the pink squiggles are gone. So here's the fun part. Now you can do whatever you want with this mock-up. You can change the background. You can make it pink. You can do whatever you want with it. Oftentimes I like to come through here and add a little bit of additional lighting like this. I'll add an overlay layer. Call it overlay, drop the opacity back a little bit. I got a little bit of light on there. Most of the time when I'm doing a professional mock-up for Becky's graphic design, I will add a stock image as a backdrop instead of leaving the book floating in this open white space. Um, but Mark is wonderful at Cover Vault because he allows you to separate the background from the books. Um, so you can move them around and do whatever you need with them. You can also export them as a PNG, which is nice. Let's have a look at this cap that I downloaded from FreePick. I need to change this image here. Let's put one of our Becky's graphic design logos on it. I'm going to go to the edge here. I'm going to right click and scroll up to edit contents. I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer and then delete this old one. Now I'm going to go insert I'm going to place the file that I want. I'm going to hit yes and save. And then if we go back to the cap, there we go. Now we have a beautiful Becky's graphic design ball cap. Not all mockups are as nice as these ones. Sometimes you'll run across a mockup that's not very easy to work with. You may have to uh, manhandle it to get it to do what you want. But there are a lot of nice mockups out there especially from people like Mark at Cover Vault or from FreePick. Um, those are my two personal favorite places to get mock-ups from. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Uh, go out there, make some nice mock-ups to show your clients. Go ahead and like and comment on the video. Um, it really helps us out. And go ahead and subscribe, too. All right, guys, thank you very much. I hope this helps, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.